Take a look at the latest CFP rankings. Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and Washington make up the top four with Florida State and Oregon as the first two teams out. The same five schools have occupied the top five spots in all four rankings this season. I love that we got a little pump up music for this guy, Paul Feinbaum, joining the program <laughs> right now. A little theme music for you, Paul. We're here for all of it. Good morning. Uh, great to have you with us. Happy Thanksgiving. Paul, Washington jumps Florida State. Are you good with that? I'm great with that, and I think it's about time. And it's not because of the Jordan Travis injury at Florida State. It's the fact that Washington has finally started really clicking. I mean, they, they've had it up and down. But remember, they have that win over Oregon. But I think, I think even though the committee said it has nothing to do with Jordan Travis, I think it, it could have played a role. And Jordan Travis is a generational player. He has helped bring Florida State back from the dead after two failed coaching moves and he's gone for the season they go to florida on saturday night guys uh they should win that game then they have louisville but they need to do more than win and i know a lot of people are saying well they're they're if they win the, they're a champion of a power five conference so what we're talking about the weakest power five conference in the acc uh their wins are against lsu a three loss team clemson a four loss team and then Louisville will be their best win, a one-loss team that still really that that had a nasty loss to Pittsburgh. I'm still not buying it, especially Mad Dog and Stephen A. If we get to a situation where you have a, a one-loss Georgia team to Alabama or a one-loss Alabama team having beaten Georgia, Texas, you have a lot of variables here that could create a great deal of chaos. Well, well, listen, I, I want to say this. I mean, I'm not going to dispute that because Washington definitely deserved it. I mean, I was monitoring Jordan Travis. I'm saying if Jordan Travis hadn't got hurt, would they have made this decision? Maybe they would not have. Maybe they would have, but no question about it. Looking over the last three weeks, you beat USC, you beat Utah, you beat Oregon State. They were all ranked teams, obviously, ranked in the top 25. They're number one in strength of schedule. I'm talking about Washington, even though I'm not saying much about USC right now. We know they've been struggling. Don't get me wrong. But basically, according to ESPN strength of schedule metric, they rank number one. We're talking about Washington ranking number one. Uh, you know, third when it gets a top 20 opponent is in many weeks. Two of the games coming on the road. Florida State is fourth in strength of schedule. That makes sense. When you're going to sit up there and move Florida State out of that top four in favor of Washington, that does make sense. I can't refute that. Well, remember, Washington, if they beat Oregon, they're going to make the Final Four anyway. But if they lose to Oregon, they're going to drop out and they're going to play them next Friday night in, uh, in Vegas. Okay. Uh, here is the point with, with Paul. Paul, listen. Now, Hunter, now, I'm not a huge Florida State fan either, so I understand your point about the conference. If you beat Louisville, if you beat LSU, if you win at Clemson and you win the ACC and you go undefeated, I don't care who the quarterback is, you're going to be in the Final Four. Now, you know that. You've been around long enough. You know that. Now, again, do I think that they're better than Georgia with one loss, or do I think necessarily they're better than Texas? No. But if you were in the ACC and you're Florida State, that's one championships. That's not – this is not some – you know, come lately program, a big program, and you go out there and you beat Louisville, Clemson, LSU, and, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and then, of course, Florida on the road, you are going to be in the Final Four, and you deserve to be in the Final Four. That's not fair. That's not fair. You go undefeated that's with, when you're Florida that, State, dog, you deserve doggy, to be in the that, Final Four. That, that, that's absurd. No, it's not. That, that's patently absurd to, to throw around this word deserve. I thought this was about picking the four best teams in the country, not the deserving. This isn't Little League where you give out participation trophies. How about identifying who the four best are? And don't tell me that Georgia wouldn't be one of the four best having lost to Alabama. I mean, are, are we? Are you? Are you? Are you serious? Uh, I don't that, have a problem with Georgia. Won Twenty-nine straight games. Well, then, well, then if you're going to go Saban and Alabama. I, and, and conversely, well, Texas, Oregon. I mean, I mean, this, you just can't give out trophies because you win the ACC. Well, hold on now. First off, if you're going by the four best, then take the loser of Ohio State, Michigan, because the loser of that team is the four best teams in the country too. Take them. If if you want to do what the four best, let, uh, if you want to do the four best teams, let's do it right now. Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Michigan. <laughs> Those are your four best teams. You're Put right. Them there and You're right. Four, do it that way and eliminate. Well, Texas. they should have did it that way last year. TCU. Listen, you don't get me started with how, with how Alabama wasn't in the top four last year. I knew what was going to happen to TCU. I mean, my God, they just ruined the national championship. They sure did. As a matter of fact, the residue from that beat 
beatdown in the national championship game is why they've had such a bad season this year. They still recover it from the beatdown that they were suffering. 100%. Last year. But, if you, but if Paul's argument is take the four best teams, well, I don't want to take Oregon. I don't want to take Washington. I'm not taking Texas, who should have lost to Kansas State, who barely beat Houston. Throw them out, too. You want to take the four best teams, Michigan, Ohio State. Nobody's going to argue with Michigan, that. Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia. And Georgia. And you take Alabama if they beat Georgia. And then everybody, and then we're if all Alabama happy. Be, if Alabama beats Georgia, that's your four best so. teams. But I would say this again, Paul, piggybacking off a of doggy's point. Washington runs the table or Florida State runs the table. Do you leave them out in favor of Alabama because you think they're better? You better believe it. Uh, I mean, Stephen A., I, I'm not trying to sell you on Alabama because you've been selling the country on Alabama for years, but uh, you think about the accomplishment. Uh, so Florida State would have had to have beaten Louisville, a team that lost to Pittsburgh. I mean, come on. You're talking about Alabama losing to Texas. Yeah, it was on September 9th, but Alabama would have beaten Georgia, and, and, and you're going to leave them home? And quite frankly, I don't think you could leave Georgia home either. You know Michigan played a garbage schedule. I mean, absolutely well, crap. Well, fine. I'll do it the so, other way. Uh, I, I would, I I'll would do it feel, the other way. What? So what does that I'll mean do about Michigan? Way. What does that mean about Michigan, guys? If you say they're playing a garbage schedule, okay, if they lose to Ohio State, uh, for example, even if it's in a nail-biter, should Michigan be one of the top four teams in the nation based on what I, you just said, Paul? I don't think Paul? so. Uh, that, that's my yeah, – I, 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 I don't agree with that because I, I think you have to have accomplished something. At, at least Florida State went out and played somebody. They played LSU, which was a top-five team when they lost. But, I mean – we get so caught up in all this, and, and thank goodness next year we're moving on. But we should have had the 12-team playoff this year, except the commissioners of the Big Ten and the ACC uh, and the Pac-12, uh, they, like uh, the, they didn't like the SEC getting uh, Oklahoma and Texas, and they threw a fit. But, but the point being, you know, we, just, we, we, we're, we, we get caught up in all this stuff, and then we listen to that, 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 that chairman on Tuesday night drone on about all these things and we and, and our heads about to explode and this isn't because we're coming from an I'm, I'm coming from an SEC perspective but you better believe Alabama is one of the four best teams in the country right now uh, if, if they beat Texas uh, excuse me if they beat Georgia that's not even debatable and, and Georgia is a powerful team uh, that you can lose a one-off uh, but when you start trying to bring Florida State into the picture without it, without Jordan Travis, I mean, we are going to have another TCU if we if we let uh, well that, Florida State a, in there over somebody else. I don't disagree with the quality of the game, Paul. That's a different argument. Well, if Florida State goes, no Travis, they're going to get killed. That's a different argument. But if Florida State beats Florida and then wins, beats Louisville, if they won at Clemson and beat LSU, I don't care who's quarterback. The doggy, they've, earned, they've earned the right to be in the game. They've earned the right to be in the Final Four. They've earned it. They've earned doggy, it. Doggy, Clemson could have five losses after Saturday. Uh, Florida could have seven losses after Saturday. I mean, what are we talking about? LSU well, who did Alabama, is, let me a, is ask a good you a team. Question. Uh, who did Alabama beat that we're supposed to be so excited about? Well, they beat Texas A&M, big deal. Well, they beat? Well, they, they, well, they, they, well, they would have. Uh, they beat in this, they beat in this conversation, they would have beaten Georgia. Well, they all right, forget the right now. At this, the at this moment, who have they beaten? Well, the best, uh, they their best lost win to Texas. Would be over Ole Miss. Who'd they beat? Who'd they beat? Who did Alabama beat right I, I just, now? Their best win would about? be over Ole Miss and LSU. Ole Miss never wins one of these games. And they beat Ole Miss at home. Well, and you just I'm killed. Just, they were now. ranked 15th in the nation. Yeah, we're, but talking the, about, we're talking about ranked teams at the time you go up against them. Oh, you, got, you got Tennessee at 17, LSU Time at 13. Out. Oh. Time out. He just, Paulie just killed Florida State, and they beat LSU, and yet Alabama gets a bonus because they beat but, LSU. That's not fair. But, so, Doggy, who has Florida State beaten? I gave you the teams they beat if they beat Louisville and at Florida yeah. and at Clemson have you, have you and LSU. Me, have Florida, you given me, their, have you given me those teams' ranking? I, but I agree they're not that good, but he said Alabama who they beat, and he brings up LSU. <laughs> but if What's Alabama beats Georgia, then obviously it's a moot point. Here's your question. They're number Go one ahead. in the country, Here is your question. They would have a win over the number one team. Uh, for, fair enough. If Alabama beats Georgia, I, deserve, I agree. Here's your question. Oh, Let's okay. make you all happy. Go Let's ahead. make everybody happy. Okay. Florida State loses. They're all out right. of the mix. Okay. Alabama beats Georgia. They're in. in. You got to be in. They're in. The Michigan-Ohio State winner. They're in. Okay. Washington or Oregon, the winner of that game. They're in. That leaves you Georgia with one loss and Texas with one loss. Georgia. Who are they taking? Georgia. Georgia. The reigning, def well, the now. reigning defending you're national gonna, champion. You're going to take Georgia, who lost to Alabama, 
and not take Texas, who won at Alabama. Yeah. Yes, even though you did it early in the season, September 9th is when you beat Alabama, okay? Obviously, the schedule has waned. I'm looking at Georgia that's been rum- just doing whatever it wants to do against whoever. Whatever is called upon for Georgia to do, they have done it a reigning two-time defending national champions. If I have an opportunity to have them in a, in a, in a playoff situation, to be the man, you got to beat the man. I'm not going to take them out of the mix and give somebody else with the equal amount of losses as the reigning defending two-time national champion. I'm going to put the two-time national champion up in there, and I'm going to say, go take it from them. That's what I'm going to say. Mr. You're Fein- asking me. Mr. Feinbaum, what are they going to do there? Yeah, well, I, I got bad news for you, doggy. Stephen A. is 100% correct. Uh, that's what that's what I would do, and that's what he would do. I, if this committee doesn't do it, the whole thing's blowing up. I mean, it is anyway, but that so would be absurd. So basically, you're telling me— uh, I- to, so you're telling me the I mean, you're, you're, play, you're telling me the Alabama game means nothing for Georgia. That's and, what you're and, telling and, me. If they went and listen, no, it doesn't. Well, that's no, what you're no, not no, there no, you it go. Doesn't. No, doesn't it doesn't. Because let me tell you something. When you're the reigning, defending, right. two-time national right. champion, right. I'm not going to be a, 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 a playoff committee, a member, and go like this. Well, we going to put Texas up right. there. Arch Manning ain't even doing it for them yet, okay? You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something right now. I'm going to roll with Georgia, the right. reigning, two-time defending right. national champions. You got to take it from them. All right, so here. So my wife, my wife and I have this big argument because she wants to have a big holiday dinner on December 2nd. Wow. I said, honey, I can't do that. Why can't you? Because I got a college football game. Well, hold on, college football? You can't go out a Christmas dinner? So now I'm going to go after a Christmas dinner because you just told me the Georgia game doesn't mean anything with well, Alabama well, well, because they're it, in anyway. It, it means something for Alabama. It means something for Alabama. Georgia! I, time, time. It means something for Alabama, number one. And number two, and number two, it means something to Georgia because they're going against Alabama. So you're going to see a great game, which is what you should want. And by the way, if your wife wants you to take out the dinner, what the hell is wrong with a DVR? Just make sure hey, people in the, the restaurant don't dog, tell the game you what the hell is at, the and go home and watch that PM. What, time, what time do you eat dinner? The game starts at 4. It'll be over okay. by 7. Go to Those seven. college games last five hours for crying out loud. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Hey, stop whining. Can I tell Go to bed dinner at 7 30. I tell you a Ridiculous. little secret. You 4 p.m. on your phone. What am I supposed to do, honey? I, it, I do that at the restaurants all the time. Let me have the great no. goose and madness no. when I'm watching a football problems. game. That's why you exactly got problems. what you do. You get the bread basket. What cafeteria are you going to at 4 p.m.? Hold on. This is what you do. You get the bread basket and you rest your phone. Oh, my God. I can't do that. I get the forced. I can't do that nonsense. No wife. Oh, by the way, she's not going anywhere. Mrs. Mad Dog is in it to win it. It's forever. She ain't going nowhere.